tarantula content for tarantula lovers. Hello everybody, welcome to this latest episode. I am your host Robbie and this is Robbie's Talking Tees. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers just like yourselves. If you want to be a better tarantula keeper or just admire these amazing animals, make sure to subscribe to the channel, comment down below and give this video a huge thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be rehousing my Samopaeus Amenia into a tarantula room's enclosure. So let's show you what happened when we did that rehousing. So here we go, we are going to be rehousing this absolutely gorgeous Samopaeus Amenia. Now this one molted not long ago. There you can see the beautiful black and orange coloration that she is left with after that molt. She is absolutely stunning. So the first thing I'm going to do is try and remove this old cork bark tube in order to get her in a better position so that I can catch cup her. Hopefully she won't be too bolty. She's getting a little bit agitated. Uh, even though these are new world tarantulas, that doesn't mean that they are, you know, calm and fairly handleable like most people expect with New World. Samuel Pierce are known to be very, very, very defensive tarantulas. And they do have quite potent venom. So getting a bite from one of these is definitely not on the agenda. So I'm not gonna risk taking the cork bark out. I'm actually gonna just try and poke her straight up into the catch tube. With hopefully as little fuss as possible. She is striking at the catch tube. Nope, 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 nope. Don't go behind there. Come on. I know you're agitated. I know you don't want to be messed about with. Unfortunately, this cork bark is getting in the way and I can't take it out. Come on. Come on. There you go, that's a better position. Go straight up. Go straight up. There you go. Into the catch tube. That's it, beautiful. That's wonderful. We're just going to stick the end on this. And there she is. Nicely caught. I need to clean this tube out. It's not as a uh, not as clear as it used to be. See her fangs have hardened up. Oh no, there's still a little bit red. It's still going to be a few days before I can feed her. That's probably why she wasn't so defensive. But look at those beautiful colours. I'll give you a better look once we put her in the new enclosure. So let's do that now. So here's the enclosure that this little boy or girl is gonna go into. I think it's a female, I'm hoping it's a female. The last one of these that I had ended up maturing male and I was absolutely gutted about it. But I did end up sending it off to the spider shop for breeding purposes, so it's not like it went to waste. So this is a tarantula rooms enclosure. It is the 20 by 20 by 30 tall. 
We've got a bog standard normal arboreal setup. We've got the cork bark tube, which I have pushed sphagnum moss inside so it can create a little den inside here. We've also got just cocoa fiber substrate today. I run out of my normal mix and just had a block of cocoa fiber. So I just knocked that up and stuck that in here. We've also got the moss that I collect from the forest, some leaf litter, and as you can see down here in the bottom corner, the most important part, a water dish. So now I've told you everything that's in the enclosure, let's get the girl inside it. So what we're gonna do is my normal rehousing technique. I'm gonna place the tube here like so. And hopefully I can just poke the, this little girl down onto the cork bark and hopefully she will just sit there. So here goes. Hopefully she doesn't get very flighty, doesn't get defensive and just goes straight down onto that cork bark tube. Come on, you don't need to go up, you just need to go down. There you go. Beautiful. So there she is inside a new enclosure. I'm gonna give you some care and husbandry information about this species. Now, Samulpaeus amenia is a new world species of tarantula. It's from South America and as you can see she's up on climbed up here on top of the enclosure. She's an arboreal. Now females live up to 12 years. They're not the longest lived tarantula species out there but they are one of the most beautiful. Males on the other hand only have a life expectancy of around four years. Now this one here isn't fully grown they reach a maximum diagonal leg span of about five, maybe five and a half inches, and they grow really, really quickly. The Samulpaeus species I've had in my collection, I've had from tiny little slings, and most reach that five to five and a half inch mark within two years. They really, really do shoot up and put on a lot of size with each molt. Humidity requirements, these guys do like it on the more moist side. They do appreciate the moisture, so it's always good to give them a little bit of damp substrate and also some sphagnum moss in there to hold in some moisture. If you do that and you keep the water dish in there, you shouldn't have any molting issues whatsoever. Temperature wise, like everything I keep in my collection, I keep them all at 24 degrees during the day and drop it down to about 18 degrees at night. They seem to do perfectly fine in that, anywhere in that mid 20 range and you're gonna have no issues whatsoever with your spiders. Feeding wise, as slings and small juveniles, I feed them every other day. And as they start putting on size and they get to that four, five, five and a half inch mark, I'll drop it back and I will only feed them once a week. They're a very simple species to keep, but bear in mind, they're not really for beginners at all, just due to being super fast and also that venom potency. Some people like to think that keeping Samulpaeus is the step before keeping species like Peace Lefiria, or omophimus or lampropelma, whichever term you use, those fast old world arboreals. I definitely can see the reason behind that. So if you're looking at making your way into Peace Lefiria and you like arboreals and you do want to have some experience with the quick species, then Samulpaeus, especially the Amenia being this beautiful, is definitely a great choice. So now I've said all that, I'm gonna end the video here. 
So there you have it, a very smooth rehouse of a species that is normally considered very flighty, very bolty, and can be quite defensive. I think it's because it's not long molted, and I treated it with a lot of respect that the tarantula was calm, and went straight into that new enclosure with no issues. So I'm gonna end the video here. All I'm gonna say now is I can't wait to see all of you at the Bristol show next week on Sunday. That will be the next video I bring out. There won't be a video on Saturday. So hopefully I'll see a lot of you there. I'll get to say hello. If you see me, just come and tap me on the shoulder and say hi, we'll have a nice little talk. It'll be great. So now I'm gonna say it. You know what's coming. Have a great day. Have a great week. Take care. And I'll see you in that video on Sunday. And if you can't wait till then, there's a couple here to tide you over. See you later. Tarantula content for tarantula lovers.